Hey team, Jim Cripps here, and I uh, just wanted to tell you guys, give you a little bit of an update. I just had my uh, doctor's visit, and so it's five months since I've been there. Go in this week, and I'm exactly 50 pounds lighter than I was during my last doctor's visit. And, you know, everybody has to wait. You're waiting around, and I don't think I've ever been excited for a doctor's visit before, but I wanted to see. I wanted to see what the expression was when he saw I'd lost 50 pounds. And so the doctor comes in. And he's almost thinking he's in the wrong room because he hasn't looked at my chart yet. He looks down, he's, Jim, you've lost 50 pounds. And so then he he wanted to know how I did that. He wanted to dissect my brain and, and learn how in five months I had lost 50 pounds and looked so much better. And he said, Jim, your clothes don't even fit. And I got to tell you, this is even my second round of clothes. Um, and I, I, I need to go again. So... Um, I hope you get to experience that, but I want to tell you, it was not easy. It's not like there was some magic pill. There was no magic pill. It was hard work, and it was me deciding to treat my weight loss like a business. What I mean by that is I treated it like I was getting paid to lose weight. Okay? When have you treated your weight loss like a business? When have you gone from a perspective of, I have to get enough education to learn how to do this properly and to learn how to do it for the long haul and to train and teach my family how to do this. So I'll tell you what started this. It all started about my 40th birthday. And I say about my 40th birthday because I was on Dave Ramsey's show and I was excited for it. I was so excited. But after I left, I was self-conscious about my weight and I, what should have been just over the top excitement was a little bit clouded by that. And then I get back and I'm at um, my quarterly roundtable with my direct reports. And I got 13 t- people around the table that I'm all responsible for. And I look around the room and 10 of them are overweight. And I've been fat my whole life. And I've been a self hating fat person for a long time. And I said, I, in my mind, I said, I am leading these people to be fat. If I wanted to lead them well, not just here at work, but lead them well in life. I need to lead them to be more healthy. And then as I drove home, I had a low point. That low point was, I said, it moved from my people to my family. And I said, if I am leading my people at work to be fat, what am I leading my family to be? And I got, I got a sharp, I got a sharp four-year-old son and he's not fat and he's, he's doing well, but I could already see some of the tendencies. And so I had to d- dig deep and it was a it was a depressing moment. I said I'm leading my wife and my child to be fat. And I have to stop, if not just for my own life but for theirs. So I don't know what your awakening moment's going to be. I don't know if you've already had it. I don't know when it's going to be or what it's going to be about, but you have to decide. Um Tony Robbins said that out of depression comes some of the most miraculous change. And I, I, I believe that. I believe that because I'm not a depressed person. But in that moment, those couple moments on that day, when I had just finished up an amazing interview uh, on Dave Ramsey's show, I should have been on cloud nine. And it was subdued by these depressing thoughts of where I was leading my team. So I ask you, have you had that moment where you've decided to be healthier? Have you decided to lose weight? Have you decided to not be fat? Have you decided to turn your life around? It could be all kinds of things. It's not just weight loss. But it takes that moment where you absolutely decide and you're not willing to not make it. Have you had that moment? And what are you leading your people to do? And whether that's in the at your home, whether that's in your business, whether that's in your small group at church, what are you leading your people to do? Thanks, team. Get out there and win.